We are at the epicenter of where it all takes place. So this is really the convergence where the Santa Fe Trail, the Camino Real, Route 66, national trails, um, and they all really end at La Fonda. Route 66 in the American West have been marketed to tourists as a place where adventure awaits. Now, institutions are looking for a deeper understanding of the West's indigenous cultures and landscape, which are still vibrant today. We have art in this hotel since the early 20s up until today, and it's really interesting to see how the art has changed, how the artists have changed. So this mural depicts the Santa Fe Trail and was done by a woman artist in the 20s, Dorothy Stauffer, and it shows the west, the cactus, the covered wagons, the Spanish, the Catholic priests, the Caros cowboys, the Santa Fe Hills in the background. And it's a beautiful depiction that is at the entrance to the hotel that's painted in the 20s. You know, at that point, some of the entities that could afford artists were hotels. The hotels could afford to, to pay the artist to paint. Any of those women artists that were out here were uh, contrarian. They were independent. They were, I mean, you wouldn't get on a train and move to the Southwest unless you had that streak, that creative independent streak. And I think this area has really benefited and thrived because of that. La Fonda is at the steps of the Native American Indian market that occurs every year in August. It's the largest Native American art market in the world. And so many of the award-winning artists stay with us. Marla Allison painted the fireplace behind us, who is an award-winning Native American artist from Laguna. And this fireplace depicts uh, the embers of the fire going up the chimney, which is why she has the uh, panels going up. It's been really incredible to have a piece like Marla Allison's behind us because it's not our interpretation of what we thought a Pueblo woman would do around a fireplace. It's Marla's interpretation and her sharing what happens at her own home. That's a very different voice. This is another Marla Allison, and she won the ribbon at the Heard Museum. 